Okay, in this video, we're, I'm just looking at negative exponents and how you can deal with them or get get rid of them. If I have uh, an expression, say I've got this one where I have a negative exponent up there, I can take that negative exponent and move it to the bottom of the fraction and make it positive and then simplify it from there. Now, to sort of explain how that works is, say, you have an expression where you have, say, 2 to the 5th divided by 2 cubed. If you do that, the rule says that if you're dividing common bases, subtract their exponents. So that would be 2, 5 take away 3, it would be 2. You could also have written it like this, uh, that you have 5 2's on the top and 3 2's on the bottom, and these all cancel, so yeah, you're left with 2 2's on the top or 4. So how does that work if the, if the top exponent is smaller than the bottom exponent? should work the same, eh? So the rule says if you're dividing common bases, subtract exponents. So it would be 3 take away 5 as a negative 2. But like we did up here, you can rewrite this as 2 times 2 times 2. The bottom one, you've got 5 2's. So these 2's all cancel, and you wind up with 1 over 2 to the positive 2. So I guess what I'm trying to illustrate is that if you have a negative exponent up there, you can change it to a positive exponent on the bottom. And likewise, if I had a negative exponent on the bottom, say I have, say, x squared over y to the negative 3, if I have a negative exponent on the bottom, I can take and move that up to the top and make it positive. Okay, that's a different question, but hopefully that sort of give sense to the negative exponent changing to a positive on the other side of the of the fraction line